The placenta is half the dad. And here's three reason why, reasons why that's important. I'm Kathy Chilmama, an antenatal and postnatal educator, trainer and doula. And a lot of, there's a misconception. A lot of people think that the placenta is formed by the woman in the uterine lining or something. Um, but it's not. When at conception, the sperm and egg meet, combine and the cells start dividing, approximately two thirds of the cells become the baby and one third becomes the placenta. And so these are three reasons why that it's really important to understand that. And the first one is if you have a baby with a new partner and you've already got your children with somebody else, your experience of pregnancy and birth can be very different. So the level of sickness you feel, um, perhaps how the, your bump grows, how you feel during pregnancy, how labour starts and how um, the birth goes can all be are all influenced by the placenta. Um, which I just think is really interesting and very cool and just worth knowing. It's not good or bad, it's just worth knowing. And the next two uh, reasons why it's important to understand about the dad being part of the baby is to do with the health of the dad, um, the uh, particularly around smoking. Um, so smoke affects the sperm. It reduces your chance of um, conceiving. But it also affects the uh, placenta in two ways. And that's the other two things that we're going to talk about. The first is that um, if the sperm is affected by smoke, it affects how well the placenta attaches to the wall of the uterus. And so this is the placenta, and this is the wall of the uterus, and it sort of attaches like that. And if the placenta has been affected by smoke, it's linked to placental abruption. Um, and so placental abruption is where, um, and this is affected whether the, the, woman, the woman or the man um, smoke. Placental abruption is where the placenta comes away from the, the wall of the uterus. And it can either come away in the middle, in which you get pooling of blood there, um, and uh, you don't not they're necessarily aware that there's been pooling, um, but obviously that uh, means that the baby's not got less um, less surface is being connected, so less blood coming through to the baby. Um, uh, or it can happen when it comes away at the end, and then you are you're more likely to note it's happening. You have internal bleeding and um, placenta abruption, whether it's like that or like that. Uh, is linked to um, it has a is life threatening for the mother, and is linked with stillbirth of the baby. Um, so it's really, it, yes, it's really scary situation. So it's a big reason to stop smoking if you're trying to conceive dads. Um, the second way is that that um, smoking affects uh, the placenta. This is for through the through the sperm is placental inefficiency. So um, dad smoking in before conception is linked to um, miscarriage, uh, smaller babies, because the placenta is not working so well, the placenta brings the blood to the baby. Um, miscarriage, smaller baby, preterm birth and stillbirth. The good news is that the smoke quickly goes out of your system. So you only need to stop smoking for a month before and um, and also the good news is if you don't smoke, then um, I think a lot of men don't necessarily feel that they've had much impact on how the um, labor, how pregnancy goes and how well the baby grows. But actually, if you're healthy and you don't smoke and um, then you actually have a really big impact on how how well the the pregnancy goes. So. I hope you found that interesting. I'll be back with more interesting facts. I've got some more placenta facts because placentas are fascinating. That's enough for me for now. Bye.